thank you very much indeed. Uh, and thank you all for coming in on this very auspicious morning uh, to witness the reopening of the Holborn after three years. Uh, this has been an enormous group endeavour and I really couldn't start to begin thanking people because if I did, uh, we might not get in before nightfall. But um, it's involved a huge number of people both doing it and supporting it, among whom I'm sure many of you uh, can count yourselves. Uh, but I suppose there is one, oh, I've just seen Eric, our architect in the crowd. So, uh, I mean, one can go on. Uh, there's Kevin, who did the lighting, and so on. Um, but if there's one body that made this possible, what is hiding behind that curtain possible, uh, it is the Heritage Lottery Fund, whose grant of five million really set this project, gave it a seal, uh, set it going, gave it a seal of approval uh, and showed that they had confidence in what we were trying to achieve. And through, it must be said, some tricky times, they have stayed with us. And so it's hugely, uh, I'm hugely pleased that with us this morning is Simon Timms, who is the chair of the South West Committee for the HLF, and he is going to say a few words. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. So, morning, everybody. I'm delighted to be here. I'm Simon Timms, the chairman of the Heritage Lottery Fund in the Southwest. It's just been an amazing transformation. I've had a peek behind scenes. This is a really glorious day to be here. The Heritage Lottery Fund is delighted to be supporting this project. Uh, we have invested over £16 million in the city of Bath over the years. Uh, this project is really the flagship now moving forward. Uh, the museum, of course, stems from just one person, Sir William Holborn, but the triumph that we're witnessing today depends on many, many people who've worked behind the scenes bringing it forward today. And also, of course, it's going to depend on the support of all of you in the future. The Heritage Lottery Fund is delighted to be supporting this project. Normally, we have a polite round of applause when I finish speaking, but what I would like to do, Zara, if you could just come here and David, if you take these two as the figureheads of the project, Zara and David, right, David Posnett, who is the chairman of the, the Holborn, and Zara, the director, um, I would like us all just to thank uh, these two, uh, to pass on our thanks to everybody who's been involved in this tremendous project. In some ways, the Heritage Lottery Fund has done the easy bit, we've signed the checks, it's the people behind these two people who've done all the hard work. Many of you are here today working your own time. So what I'd like you to do, no applause, let's give three cheers for the Holborn, okay? Three cheers for the Holborn. Hip, hip. No, I'm going to stop you, okay? Now, I have to remind you, we have the mayor here. We're in this glorious city of Bath, a World Heritage Site. We have the Holborn about to open. Can we just try that? with more gusto. <laughs> okay. Three cheers for the Holborn. Hip hip. Hooray! Hip hip. Hooray! Hip hip. Hooray! Thank you very much. <laughs> but that's not all, because up at the top of our new extension, when you get in there, you will find a spectacular and marvellous and both funny and moving exhibition of works and the collection of Sir Peter Blake. And I am hugely honoured and uh, that he is here today to help us uh, rip back the bodice of, uh, on the Holman. Um, and even more excitingly, we have here three of the four winners of our school art competition. Uh, and so uh, Nancy, Catherine and Katie are here. Um, and they're going to come and help open the curtain uh, as well. But Peter, would you mind stepping forward once more into the limelight? Thank you. And I shall hand over to him to say a few words. This is the third lot of few words, so I said there, so there'll be very few. It's really just to um, thank you all for coming, welcome you to, to the new Holborn, and, and I know the people of Bath are going to take it to their hearts, even the doubters. So, um, welcome, welcome, and I hope you enjoy it when you come in. Thank you very much.
arrived, and I just thought it was really exciting. It's fantastic for Bath to have to be able to have such a such an event. It was quite emotional. Have a good luck when you ready to Miracle. I think it's a miracle. I think they put lots of detail, and they must have like um, spent weeks and weeks doing it to get all that detail in. such a fantastic exhibition. It looks wonderful. I'm at the moment trying to read all the labels and try to read all the signs and see what, they, what it's all about. It's been a couple of years since we last came down here and we'd known about the plans for them to do this at the back of the museum and we didn't know what it was going to be like so we came down today and we've been on every level. It's been fantastic. What do you think, Hugo? You like it? Yeah? What's your favourite part? You, the cameraman. <laughs> So far I've liked the miniatures downstairs, there's an entire corner of uh, little miniature portraits. I think they're mainly Victorian but they were fantastic. Marvellous on the opening day to see so many people of all different ages, particularly the children, enjoying what we've all, all dreamt of. Three years of closure but somewhat longer for me, just to see exactly what we wanted is being achieved today. Very good. It's really interesting because there's lots of like models and things that you can look at. I like the um, drawers where you pull them open and you can see things and um, reading like the information it's like really good. I think it's just great. <laughs> Would you like to come here for a small trip? Oh yes, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Wonderful. I think the marriage between old and new works really well, and the displays, especially those hanging porcelain, is so clever. Uh, I think the whole thing's incredibly successful. We met um, Peter Blake outside, and this exhibition, well, like all of his collections and things he does, is so exciting. So, no, a real success, a real success. I think eventually all you have left is culture. I mean, in the long run, um, you know, the, the mechanics of living come and go. And what you end up with is the culture of a civilization. And this is a kind of small temple of culture and art history. So um, it, it, it's very important, it's very, but there's nothing else. I mean, without culture, there's nothing. Mm -hmm.